Welcome back to Haven Virtual University. Today we're going to talk about what I feel is our number one troubleshooting step that, that people run across and it comes right at the very beginning with getting systems online. It does and most of the time it's because the password's wrong. Right. Number one, check the password. But one of the things that's handy about our controllers is that we have the Wi-Fi LED. We'll have blink codes. Mm -hmm. So it'll blink a certain number of times and tell you exactly what it's trying to do. And on all of our transformers, it will list the actual blink codes and what they what they mean. So right on the panel, right on the front panel, right next to the Wi-Fi light, it will actually list if it's blinking twice, yep. it's trying to connect to the router. If it's blinking three times, it can't find the network or has a bad password. Very, very handy troubleshooting guide here. One of the other scenarios that comes up quite a bit is the four blank scenario, which is I'm connected to the router, but I don't have internet. Where that scenario comes into play most is with access points or extenders or things like that to where the access point is up and actually we're connected to it, but it's not connected to the home based access point, the one at the router. And so it doesn't have internet connection. That one also comes up a lot. The way you get around that is typically you reboot all the access points in the home that will typically solve that problem. That one comes up quite a bit as mm -hmm. well. Five, six, and seven blanks are really just working through the process. That is, I got connected to the router, I got access to the internet, and now I'm going through the process to registering ourselves, going through the Microsoft IoT Secure protocols and getting, getting on the server. Mm -hmm. So where it will get stuck in five, six, and seven blanks is if you have really, really poor Wi-Fi, where the communication just isn't getting through. Anytime it gets stuck in five, six, or seven is generally a Wi-Fi network problem yeah. and signal strength problem. So there you can get an extender, you can get another access point, mm -hmm. something like that. So, so are there cases too where it'll start at five, six, or seven blinks and then get back and maybe get stuck at four? It can, it's not usual. Now we will go to five and then to four, but usually six and seven generally doesn't get back to get back to four. You, what you will see it do is cycle through. So it might get up at six, it might get stuck at six, and then it'll start over, start over at two, and then work its way back up. Mm -hmm. But if it keeps doing that over and over again, it's generally a signal problem, and, and you should probably look at getting an access point or extender closer to that transformer. Mm -hmm. Yep, and a lot of times too, if, if, if we're having trouble uh, connecting to the internet, even a simple reboot of the, the customer's router, that is, or the access points. That is true as well. So a lot of times, and this is where we come in right now because we can see a little bit more than what you can see in the app on our server. And a lot of times what will happen is, especially if a, if a customer has multiple controllers, it's very handy where if they all go offline at the same time, we always know that's an internet problem. They either lost their internet or their Wi-Fi network is down or something because multiple independent devices went offline at the exact same time. If you give us a call, a lot of times we can see a little bit more information that you can and, and very, very quickly diagnose the situation. But anytime somebody calls me and I see multiple controllers go offline at the same time, 100% of the time I, yeah. I tell them, you've got a network problem. This is not a Haven controller problem. Generally speaking, those are the main scenarios mm -hmm. that come up. Either bad passwords, so check your passwords, an access point that doesn't have connection to the main router and therefore doesn't have internet connection, or just bad Wi-Fi signal. Mm -hmm. yep. Those and, are the three main ones. Yep, absolutely, and a lot of times too, this is why we tell our installers and, and tell our, our customers also that, that, hey, look, do this as a first step. Get your transformer online first. Let's make sure it gets connected as opposed to running wires and setting lights and then having to go back and mount the transformer a different location. That's right. This helps, it'll tell you right off the bat. And in our app, it tells you your signal strength. It does. So it tells you what kind of signal you're gonna have right there on the app. So do that first, it'll save you a headache. We also really recommend having some sort of mesh network on mm -hmm. your vehicle yes. at all times. It's just much, much easier to, you know, instead of having to come back or go to the store or anything like that, if you run into situations, and it doesn't happen a lot, but it, maybe 10, 20% mm -hmm. of the time, it does happen to where you need an access point or you need an extender to where they don't have great Wi-Fi in the backyard or where you have the, the transformer mounted. So it's just handy to have, I don't mean sell it to the customer, they nine times out of 10 are glad that you did because now they have great it helps Wi-Fi everything in, the in their yard. That's right. We get many comments that, man, my Wi-Fi is so much better <laughs> since 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 you guys did what yeah. you did. So yeah. that's really it. It's it really comes down to those three things. So thanks for watching.